Coach Oleander, I'm reporting for basic training. Son, do you realize that to take my course, I will have to pull you into my mind. You will have to relive every bullet-scarred memory of every battle I have ever faced. Won't be pretty. Are you sure you wouldn't rather run around a bit more in the sunshine first? I'm sure, sir. I'm a psychonaut. Well then... You're late, soldier. Now get in here and give me 20. So, this is it. The mental world. It looks like a dentist office. A mental dentist office. <laughs> it's a recruiting office, kids. And I'm here to recruit you for the greatest job in the world. Being a psychonaut. It's about fighting a war for mental freedom. Are you ready to face torture, insanity, and death? Because this is your last chance to chicken out. Oh, me, sir. I'd like to chicken out, please. Too late, soldier. <laughs> but you said... There's only one way out of here. Fighting. I want one of you chickens to sock me square in a jaw. I warn you. Once you do, the war is on. Hello, everybody, and welcome back right, to Let's Play chicken. Psychonauts with me, Oxfu. Are you gonna sock you him gonna in the mouth? Him? No way! You do it! Okay. Well, before we do, I just want to look at one of these posters. I wish I were yeah, a man. Get like <laughs> this, I it. Oh, and you, Navy boy, chicken of the sea. All right, on, good enough. Go. Not much else in here. That this just leads Come to on. another boring room. Uh, oh my that's God! What I'm talking about. <laughs> what kind of obstacle course is this? That kid just got killed. A mental obstacle course, you bleeding heart. He's not dead. His astral projection just got kicked out of my mind. And I'll kick your astral projection out of here too if you don't get moving right now. <laughs> oh. I never actually looked back. I didn't know it just the room just blew up. <laughs> But anyway, let's make our way through Coach Oleander's mental fitness course. Or obstacle course, not fitness. Well, I guess fitness as well, but... Alright. And double jump across. Oh my god, it's a monster! What'll we do? Relax. That's just a figment of my imagination. You can run right through figments. They help you rank up, and when you rank up, you earn new psychic powers. So whenever you see a figment, suck it up, soldier! Come on, get that figment! Alright, so figments are... Well, like it says, as it helps us rank up, so we collect 100 figment points and we get promoted. Now, each one is yeah, not piggy, always... Piggy. Who's Coach's little piggy? Oink, going going. Okay, you done, Oleander? <laughs> Each figment is not always worth one figment point, as you can see that one was worth three. Again, it basically counts as experience points, and there's a number of... Mentalis, yeah, shush. There's a number of figments in each area. Where are we looking? Ah, here we go. So there are 73 figments in here. And we'll figure out other things as we move on. <laughs> hey, what are you staring at? We all have emotional baggage, kid. Why don't you make yourself useful? Sort some of it out while you're in here. Keep your eyes peeled for a tag that matches. Could be anywhere. <laughs> Literally. Emotional baggage. Oh, and a little lag, but... It's okay, we'll sort that out. Oh. There we go. Now, 
I don't know why it's you lagging. You will pick up that tag and you will put it on that bag you just found. Unless you'd rather just drop and get me 20 right now. <laughs> you hit that ladder hard, son. 20 Showing mental push-ups? There we go, I did 20 push-ups in my mind. Alright. There's some emotional baggage sorted. Now those things all look the same, the little cutscenes, so I'm pro probably going to be skipping through them after we finish up with this world. Alright. Oh man, I love this world. It's just... It looks so cool. <laughs> oh, you gotta jump down to get those figments. Can't just jump across like we know where we're supposed to go. Aha! Suitcase tag. There we go. Crashed plane. <laughs> Bushes made of ammo belts. I love, I love that. Actually, wait a minute. What are these ones made out of? Oh, those are dog tags. I never noticed. I just thought, figured, oh, they must be made of something military. <laughs> Come on, get up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're getting on it, Oleander. Shut your, shut your mouth. Watch out! Fire down below. I bet you couldn't make it through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna take some damage. Whatever. I could probably could have avoided that, but I, I was too impatient. We can't get past this. This is stupid. Hmm. Looks like a test. There's probably a secret, more advanced route. What's that supposed to mean? You think you're more advanced than me, new kid? Sorry, what? I'm not stupid. You're stupid. The coach is stupid. The whole camp is stupid. That thing flying at you is stupid. What's flying at me? <laughs> oh yeah, Bobby, 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 Bobby Zilch? Foot, that's what? Your you intelligence stupid, is stupid. seen one so meaty before. I huh. have. It's been appearing in this creepy nightmare I keep having. You're having nightmares? Oh, I've been reading about how to fix those. Will you let me see one? Hmm. No. A meat plant? Never seen one of those before. Let's go back down and check that out. Huh. That's really weird. Come on. You're like Come molasses night. going uphill nope. in January with crutches. Come on. One nightmare. Nope. <laughs> Just tell me one nightmare. Come on. Ooh. I just keep noticing new things about the scenery that I've never noticed before because I've just blown through this part of the game before. Just worried about, well, getting through the... The course. Anyway, this is the secret, more advanced route. You're like Ooh. molasses going uphill in January. Oh, God. come on, Oleander, shut up. <laughs> so I don't know what it is, but these platforms. We're gonna see a, a bunch of other types of platforms that do the same thing. They slightly float. There's something about them that just really. I think is really cool, just because. Less waiting, more motivating. I don't know. They they <laughs> just the way they bounce. Um, they also remind me of something which I can't quite put my finger on. A movie or something. You remember a movie that has platforms like that? Could you tell me? So I'm not just like, what does that remind me of? For over and for a long time. Ever since I first played this game, I've wondered what it reminded me of. Anyway, we're gonna do a little backtracking. Oh, shut up, Oleander. Getting all these figments. You want me to just be a half-ass Psychonaut? That was close. There we go. This will not, in any form, 
be a 100% run, by the way. Because there is so much crap that you have to collect. And I've never done it. Oh man, that was close. But there's so much crap that you have to collect in this game to get 100% that it just becomes really tedious. Like I said, there's 73 figments in this world alone, and I don't think I've even 100%ed 100 this level. No, we missed that one. Shoot. Ah, there we go. Good enough. Onward and upward, soldier! But it just becomes ridiculous in later levels, and I really have no reason to collect all of them. Um, especially... There we go. Just gonna shimmy Joey. shimmy. No! Cause I'm gonna call you Slowy Joey! That's not my name. What was that, Slowy? I can't hear ya, you're talking too slow! <laughs> Shut up, Oleander. <laughs> but, um... What was I talking about? I was talking about how I'm not going to 100% this game. Just because... Like I said, there's so much to collect. Plus, there's a lot of stuff that I never knew about until I got this game on Steam. There's like... I'm reading things like, oh, spy on Bobby Zilch's love life and stuff like that. I didn't even know Bobby Zilch had a love life. Anyway, let's get this suitcase. This suitcase. <laughs> Don't know what accent that was. I wasn't even trying to have an accent. And we'll move on with the rest of Oleander's mental obstacle course. Actually, I'm wondering if this is a good place to call it for now. You know what? I'm gonna call it in a second. I know, where we, I know what, what's a good area. So, this is still the same recording session, so I don't know how you guys are receiving this. Um, uh, collecting these figments is going to be such a chore. Because the other thing is, you can't really get to a high rank without collecting at least a few of them. So I'm going to try to collect as many as possible. Down, sideways, whatever way you want. Just Can get on it. Like a monkey. I can climb it any way I want. Can I just not climb it at all? Jeez. That's not really fair. You <laughs> Not very brave now that you're alone and just the henchman, right? Aha, here we go. Watch those mines, kid. They'll blow you up like a ten cent kazoo. Yeah, so basically there's a minefield we have to get through. Now, we're gonna wanna lead Dogen through in a second, but before we do that, I'm gonna get all the figments. Just because if we try to lead him through and get the figments, we're gonna find that he's really terrible at following us. And he's gonna run into half of these mines, whereas we can pretty much jump over them. Alright, hey, here we Dogen. go. What's wrong? I keep blowing up. Follow me. I'll help you through the mines. Okay. I mean, there's no reason not to help him. I mean, it's just Dogen. Like, if it was Bobby Zilch, I'd be like, yeah, Bobby Zilch, go, just go. Go do something else. I hate you. But <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Come on, come on, Dogen. We're almost through. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Yeah, see, you're, you're through. I can't do it. I can't do it. Yes, you can, Dogen. Just follow me. Okay. Come on, come on. We're almost there. There we go. See, you made it. Look, Rez. I didn't explore it all. Good hustle out there. Hey. You're um, like molasses this going is for help in January. Yeah. Okay, bye. With crutches. Oh, cool. We got psychic arrowheads for helping him out. See, I told you it was worth it. 
Anyway, let's raise the flag. This is the end of the obstacle course, right? Right? Uh-oh. I think that was only a checkpoint. Oh no. No one told me to pack a chute. Did Washington have a chute when he crossed the Delaware? Just jump, sissy! Well, I guess we're all going to die. <laughs> but is there like a climax to this story? Didn't I mention the gopher yet? Thought I hit that. Well anyway, I will see and you guys. Then I gave Lady a bone. Hi <laughs> kid. Anyways, I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Psychonauts with Mio X Fu. Take it easy. Can we get on the wing? No. Tried. <laughs>